Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my puppy's daily routine. Here he is, this is little Ralph making an appearance, chilling on the sofa. I thought this would be really nice just to be able to look back on as well when he's older. And also if you are looking at getting a puppy or a whippet, this might be beneficial for you to know sort of what you'd be expecting. I will say all dogs, puppies and different breeds are gonna be very different. This is just Ralph's little routine. It might help if you're looking at getting one yourself. I will say he is quite a lazy pup, but I think that's whippets. They are quite couch potatoes, so it might not be a very long video because he does sleep a lot of the day, but I think a lot of, people, a lot of puppies do sleep a lot. I also thought I could give you a bit of an update. He is nearly five months now, and we have seen quite a few changes over the past couple of weeks. So I thought that would be quite interesting to see where he's up to and how he's getting on. The routine definitely changes quite a lot, depending on like his age, as he grows, things change slightly. My partner James kindly filmed this next clip for me. So if you see a large hand and a tattooed arm, it is not mine. <laughs> and with all that said, let's get into Ralph's daily routine. So in the morning, he wakes up between half five and half six, sometimes seven. It really just depends how tired he is or how much exercise he's had the day before. He likes to take his time getting up. There's no rush, but it is funny because sometimes he makes these little whimpering noises if he wants to come out and then we open the door to let him out and then he just sits there for 10 minutes deciding when he's gonna come out. Um, and then he'll have a little stretch and a shake off to wake himself up. And then he'll try and come and say hello, but he's far too excited for his breakfast, as you can tell by his happy tail. And then another big stretch before the marathon down the stairs. He's so cute, he always waits for us to say, okay, or well, come on then, before he comes. We always take him out for a wee first to make sure there's no accidents. So off we go to the garden for his morning business and then straight back inside to his breakfast, again waiting, bless him, for us to tell him to come in the kitchen. Him the Pooch and Mutt puppy food, we just keep it in this storage container, which was from Home Bargains. I think it was about 10 pound, and it did have a little scoop that came with it, but we bought this bigger scoop from Pets at Home. And then we put his food in the slow feeder, which was from Amazon and then we add a bit of water to it which just makes it a bit gravy like and it's also a really good way of getting some water in him because he doesn't drink loads of water throughout the day so I just like to make sure he's having his water he'll wait until we say it's okay and then he'll jump in his crate when we first got it it took about 10 minutes or more for him to eat it but he's got a lot quicker um, at figuring out how to get the food out now yeah, about five minutes and he'll be finished. He is a super food driven, which is handy because anything you want him to do, if you have got a treat, he will do it if you can give him food. <laughs> And we'll give him lots of love and strokes whilst he's licking his chops after his breakfast before going back up to bed again because he's very lazy. But we do take him out to the toilet again before we let him upstairs. So off he goes again to do his business. And then he will pretty much just wait at the gate until you let him upstairs. And then he will sleep again for like two more hours, I'd say. So he bombs it up the stairs and then comes in to say hello to mum or dad, whoever's in the bed. And then he comes in for a bit of attention and then he will literally just go under the duvet and straight to sleep. So after his little morning routine, if I am working at home, he will generally do this most of the morning. So he will sleep on the sofa. He's, he's really easy like that. About half 11, 12, depending what the weather's doing, he will start to wake up. So if it's raining outside, he's, he's like, he senses it and he'll just stay asleep under the blankets the whole time. If it's sunny, he loves the sun. So he'll come down on the carpet and lie in the sunny spot. And usually then I will give him a treat. Um, I'd like a frozen carrot, a dental stick, just something to keep him going till lunchtime. But at the weekend, obviously it's a completely different routine. He will just adapt to whatever it is we're doing that day. So he won't sleep as much at the weekend because I sit in the living room all day pretty much. He will sleep here, but if we're 
up and down running around the house or out and about he'll just follow us wherever we go and then about half 12 is his daily walk so we go on a walk for about half an hour 40 minutes yeah he's definitely not a fan of morning walks so we changed them to lunchtime and he much prefers that when the temperature's warmed up a bit he's like ready to go out because he's had loads of sleep all through the night all morning and he seems to really enjoy the lunchtime walks and then when he comes back I'll give him his lunch about one just after one ish before his dinner is also a good time to get some training in there with him because obviously he's hungry so he's like eager for the treat so usually at the weekend we would plan like a day out maybe somewhere um like a nice big walk with him so that would be a bit of a treat he loves to go into new places and adventurous walks and he's recently been to the beach he loves the beach but yeah anywhere where it's a bit foresty where there's loads of things to sniff leaves flying around so yeah at the weekend he has some longer walks so although his routine changes slightly at the weekend we still keep his food routine the same so about six half six breakfast one half one lunch and then 6 p.m is his dinner time so at the moment we feed him about 60 grams of the pooch and mutt puppy food with a bit of like lukewarm water the amount increases as they get older so we've just been adjusting that he's been checked at the vets and they said he's perfect weight and all doing really well so that's reassuring and then after lunch on a typical work day he will usually sleep again so after he's had his lunch he's more than happy to then sleep again for a couple of hours on the sofa and then about three four ish he'll start to wake up again and then I will try and do a little bit of training with him then so I try and get him to do a lot of sit weight is a big one at the moment I get him to wait in the room whilst I walk out and then ask him to come to me and then he runs over also going in his crate and just waiting there quietly and rewarding him so yeah just keeping him busy stimulating his brain playing fetch in the garden and things and then I would say between five to half six anywhere between then can be his mental zoom is time so um zoom is if you haven't got a dog is a thing where they just go mental basically they get like all this energy and they just he runs around the garden he'll run around the house it's wild <laughs> and then he knackers himself out it's so funny to watch but sometimes it's just like there's, there's no control in them <laughs> but they say if your dog does zoom is and they're a happy dog so hopefully he's happy <laughs> although at the weekend if he has been on a bigger walk and we've been a lot more active with him and he tends to not nap as much in the day because we're active as well he doesn't always have his zoomies in the afternoon so if he's been more tired tired out during the day the zoomies don't really happen and you might be thinking he'll want a bigger walk during the week to get it out of his system but he just doesn't he doesn't want to go out on a walk it sometimes it's hard to get him to go out on a walk if the weather's nice and yes he loves it and we haven't let him off the leash yet so i think once we can do that and throw a ball and he can really get out his system then that'll be better so yeah in the garden he goes wild and then 6 p.m is his dinner time so he'll have that before we have our dinner and then he tends to eat that all up really quickly and then he'll go back and forth about four times just to see if any more has magically appeared in his bowl after his dinner he then usually just kind of follows us around into the kitchen where whatever we're doing he'll only settle at night when we're both sat down on the sofa unless he's really tired then if one of us is sat down he will do but generally once we've both sat down to have our tea he will then fall asleep again between us on the sofa he will then sleep on the sofa from about 7 till 10 would we'll then take him out to the toilet I forgot to mention all his toilets breaks in here but obviously he goes out quite frequently to the toilet and then we will take him up to bed and then he sleeps straight straight through the night so he sleeps in his crate next to us on the floor but yeah so he can sleep from 7 till 10 and then from 10 till 6 ish all night so he's a very good sleeper so that's his pretty much whole daily routine and then I just thought I'd go over a few little things we've noticed in the past I'd say month that have changed quite a bit and any little tips that I can give you I've just tucked him in there because he likes to be warm <laughs> Yeah, because he's a whippet, they don't have much fur and he gets really cold so he sleeps a lot better when he's all tucked in. <laughs> so one of the main differences over like the past month and a half I'd say is his size. He's definitely grown. Sometimes he goes for his nap and then I think, oh my god, he's woke up and he's grown. <laughs> but that's just puppies in general. Like this is the time the have a lot of energy but they also sleep a lot and they grow quickly <laughs> training and commands he's definitely picking up i wouldn't say he's completely there with it yet but like toilet training he did in like two weeks if that he is really clever i, I 
don't think I realised how smart like whippets would be. Sorry whippets. <laughs> just commands like Ralph come just out and about as well on walks. He listens quite a bit better. We have recently been doing some long lead training with him for recall so in the garden we practice a bit as well but it just feels a bit different. So we got a really long lead so he can run off quite far and then once he kind of gets to the end of the lead we'll shout him back really excited and then he comes running over his tree and then we make a big fuss of him when he comes back. So we practice that on the beach quite a lot over the weekend and we did let him off the lead literally for like a couple of minutes because I was absolutely pooing myself. So if you've got any advice and tips on letting you puppy off the lead, how old they were when they did it, yeah please let me know in the comments. But I think we're nearly getting there. I think in a couple of weeks he should be there. His recall is getting really good. Obviously it's just when there's distractions, children and other dogs he loves. He's so sociable. So if there's something more exciting then he's off. But yeah on the beach my partner James held him, took his lead off. I stood like I don't know a couple of meters maybe two meters away and I shouted him and then he let go and he ran straight to me and then I held him, did the same, turned him around, James shouted him and then let him go and he ran straight to James. So they're all positive signs. So we're getting there. The only little problem we have at the moment is that he eats everything. So when he's kind of quite far away and you can't see what he's doing, he's been like eating the sand, he found a jellyfish, he eats poo, he eats flowers, mushrooms, whatever's growing in the grass or on the sand, um, shells, like, and then it's just a bit of a worry. Obviously, I don't want him to swallow loads of things, but so far, touch wood, <laughs> he's been okay. You just gotta keep your eye on him. A little tip I would say that I, I never knew before, he's had a funny tummy a couple of times. So ages ago, when he was very young, he was eating really fast, and then he'd make himself sick afterwards. But at first, we weren't sure what it was that was making him sick or what to do. So we bought him the slow feeder, which has been great. And also, we spoke to the vets, because. At one point he had like diarrhea. Chicken and rice really helped. So we just literally give him to start like a tablespoon of rice and chicken to see if he could keep that down. And then we'll just continue like that and then increase it slowly. And that has helped both the time he was being sick a lot and the time he had diarrhea. So, and I've read that online as well and it's been great. So yeah, just any little tips if they have a bit of an up upset stomach. We also took him to the caravan for the first time and we were a bit worried about the noises because sometimes it can be quite loud. Just various things like the wind, the rain, seagulls, everything sounds a lot louder but he's been absolutely fine. He doesn't even bat an eyelid at the noises so that's good. He definitely gets more trust in the house now so before we kind of never took our eye off him whereas now you can be in the kitchen and leave him in the living room for at least a couple of minutes but then if he's really quiet I'm like this is suspicious I'm going to see what he's doing but a lot of the time he's usually fine and so he's definitely growing out of the puppy chewing everything stage but if he is left to his own devices for too long he'll definitely have something in his mouth that he shouldn't. He can definitely hold his bladder for a lot longer now he's nearly five months so beforehand probably like three months we were getting up at 2 3 a.m in the night to let him out for his weight and then back in his crate and then he'd sleep then till the morning whereas now he'll sleep all the night through till half five six ish sometimes half six, seven, just sort of depends how tired he is, I guess. But that's great as well. So if you are in those early puppy stages, it's not long to go till they can hold the bladder quite a lot longer. Another thing we found out recently as well, uh, about his baby teeth falling out. So for some reason, this never occurred to me. We met this lady who had a whippet as well out on a walk and she said, oh, has his baby teeth started falling out yet? And I was like, oh, does that happen? <laughs> um, so yeah, and then recently two of his baby teeth have fallen out. So one of them I've got, and one of them I think he must have swallowed or it's fallen out somewhere because I can't find it. Yeah, he started chewing his toys and then there was quite a lot of blood. Not a lot of blood, but like little patches of blood on the toy. And I was like, oh, what's that coming from? And then I opened his mouth and you can see where he's got his little gap. So yeah, just like babies, they lose all the puppy teeth and then they get adult teeth. So we're in the process of that at the moment. I haven't stood on any yet that have been really sharp, but that might be to come. And yeah, like I mentioned before, he's definitely growing quickly. So that also means he's growing out of his jackets and his coats and quickly. So we did go the other day to look at pets at home for a new coat for him but now he is growing that bit bigger and becoming into more of his whippet shape the general coats for dogs don't really fit in very well because of the, the shape that they are so he could do with real 
proper whippet clothing but it's just quite expensive and we know he's going to grow more so we don't want to spend too much money just yet but luckily it is coming into the summer now and his coat still does fit him fine it just looks a bit short at the back of his bum so we might just hang on for now and then hopefully get him something soon we also gave him a bath it was about two weeks ago so we tend to do this I'd say once every six weeks because they tell you not to do it too much but we'd had like a bit of a messy weekend in Wales so he needed a bit of a bath but to help we bought a lick mat as he hates the bath and because he gets cold as well so yeah we bought a lick mat and you can put things like doggy peanut butter low-fat cream cheese mushed up banana there's all sorts you can put on there and he loves that and that really did help he also loves it just as a tree anywhere if you want to keep him quiet for a few minutes it does entertain them for a little while and something I've been doing recently just to keep him keep him occupied for a bit and keeping his mind stimulated is just having an empty bottle and putting a few treats in it and then they just whack it around the floor until like the treats fall out and then they get the treat. He plays with that for ages and it takes him so long sometimes to get the treats out so that definitely burns his energy and keeps him busy for a little while. And that is it for Ralph's little daily routine video and a few little tips. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you got to know a little bit more about Ralph and his routine and if you are getting a puppy, what to expect at sort of this near the five month mark. If you did enjoy the video, I would love it if you could give it a big like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. If you do have any questions, I'm more than happy to talk all things whip it or puppy in the comments. Just let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you on Monday at seven for my next video. Bye guys.